Hi, I'm Teresa Brown with PortraitsNC.com. I've been a fine art portrait artist for many years, and I'm going to talk a little bit today about the questions that people ask us when they're selecting a fine art portrait artist, especially doing a portrait of their children. One of the first things you need to know is look at the artist's style. Is it something that you like? That is the number one thing you need to think of first. Is it a style you can live with? Today we're in my Wake Forest studio and I'm going to show you several examples of mediums that artists use a lot. Number one is an oil. It's a traditional medium. Here's one example up here. Here we have a pastel. Very traditional. They all have longevity. Over here, beautiful watercolor. Soft, translucent. This is a traditional look. And over here, simple pencil. Black and white. Artists sometimes use colored pencils, but this is a traditional look and people love it. Once you determine the artist's style and it's something that you like, the next thing you have to determine is, do you like the artist? Can you talk to the artist? Does the artist speak on your terms, your level? Are they like you? Do they like your child? Because children's portraits can range from newborn, tiny infants, to a 35-year-old child. It doesn't matter if it's your child, it's a priceless heirloom. So the number one thing, other than the style of the artist, is can you work with the artist? What if you have to make some changes later on? Will they do it? Are they easy to work with in that respect? Will they say, sure, I'll make this little change, or I'll make the bow pink, or I'll make the uh, shoes white? You need to have a rapport with your artist, and then you're going to be able to work completely with the photo session, which is what a lot of them do, and then be able to turn out the best portrait of your child. So you've selected your artist. You like the artist's style. You like speaking with the artist. And you've discussed investment and you're thinking, this is something I can afford, it's going to be an heirloom, it'll be priceless. So what can you expect for a photography session? Most artists today do not do sittings. Uh, it's hard enough to get the mothers to schedule a time to do the photography sittings. But in this case, we've got selections from different poses and a good professional artist will be able to take different photographs of your child and sit down with you and come up with some solutions that would be a great portrait. Now one of the things they do is they consider the background, the location, the clothing, keep it traditional. We don't want too trendy a style. You want to be able to look at this portrait in 50 years and go, gosh, that's a cute child. Even if it's an adult child, you want something that is timeless. So pick your clothes accordingly. Color. That's why you're having a portrait done. The human eye sees more color than a camera does. So consequently, when you're picking colors, understand that if it's red or patterned like this, or blue, those colors are going to reflect in the child's face. So it's kind of helpful to tell the artist, this is the color I want, and you won't have to turn it to purple later. So keep something simple when you're dealing with the artist and dealing with your child. Find out how long it's going to take. Some artists are very slow and they only turn out a couple portraits a year. Some are prolific. And if that's the case, then ask when it will be ready. And don't be afraid to ask questions. The artist should be willing to let you know how they work, when you can see the portrait. Some let you see it before it's done. Others say, no, wait till it's done. So ask your questions ahead of time. And then there'll be no surprises and you have something you can hang forever. If you'd like to know more about selecting the right portrait artist for your child's portrait, we've got a free report for you. Go to our website, Portraits NC, and you've got this great 11-page detailed report that you can download with all the information. There's information about the mediums, additional information, questions you need to ask the artist, and everything you'd like to know to have the perfect portrait of your child. Thank you.